CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 31 through 35. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 31. A network administrator is troubleshooting intermittent Wi-Fi dropouts reported in an office break area. Users mention that their connections frequently fail whenever someone heats food in the microwave. Which of the following frequency bands is most likely in use? The answer is A. 2.4 GHz. The 2.4 GHz frequency band is widely used for Wi-Fi but also shares its spectrum with devices such as microwaves, baby monitors, and cordless phones. Microwaves operate in the 2.4 GHz range, and if they have insufficient shielding or are poorly maintained, they can leak radio frequency interference. This interference can overpower Wi-Fi signals causing signal degradation, drop connections, or reduce performance in nearby wireless devices. Question 32. The company is moving to a virtualized infrastructure and needs to implement switching, routing, and firewall services within its hypervisor environment. Which of the following would best meet this requirement? The answer is C. NFV. NFV, Network Functions Virtualization, enables switching, routing, firewall functionalities, and other network services to run as software within a virtualized environment. Instead of using dedicated hardware appliances, NFV allows these functions to be deployed as virtualized instances on a hypervisor, enhancing scalability and flexibility. This technology is widely used in modern data centers and cloud environments to reduce physical infrastructure costs and improve network agility. Question 33. A network technician is tasked with connecting patch cords from a UTP patch panel to an access switch in a newly occupied office space. However, the patch panel lacks labeling for jack identification. Which of the following tools would provide the best way to trace and identify the correct patch panel port? The answer is A. Tone Generator and Probe. A tone generator and probe work together to trace unmarked network cables. The tone generator sends an audible signal through the wire while the probe detects the signal at the other end helping the technician identify which patch panel port corresponds to a specific wall jack. This method is much faster and more efficient than manually testing each cable, making it the best option for identifying ports in an unlabeled patch panel. Question 34. A company recently expanded its office space and added several new switches to improve network connectivity. Shortly after deployment, users report intermittent network slowdowns and connectivity drops. Upon investigation, the network administrator identifies redundant switch connections. Which of the following should the administrator do to prevent further issues? The answer is D. Enable Spanning Tree. Spanning Tree Protocol, or STP for short, prevents network loops by dynamically blocking redundant switch connections that could cause broadcast storms and packet duplication. Without SKP, redundant links between switches can lead to excessive traffic and degraded performance. Enabling STP ensures stable network operation by allowing only a single active path while keeping backup paths available for failover. Question 35. A network administrator is optimizing routing protocols to improve failover times in the event of a primary link failure. The chosen protocol should support a backup route that is pre-calculated and immediately available. Which of the following routing protocols meets this requirement? The answer is D. EIGRP. EIGRP, or Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, uses a dual path selection mechanism with successor and feasible successor routes. The successor is the best path to a destination, while the feasible successor is a pre calculated backup route that meets feasibility conditions. If the primary route fails, EIGRP instantly switches to the feasible successor, reducing downtime and improving network resilience. Other routing protocols, such as OSPF and IS-IS, require recalculation before selecting an alternative route. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. 
This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.